Hey, what's up YouTube? And I'm back with a brand new haul for you guys. And I'm really excited about this haul. Um, you know, I haven't had any time to hit any shops, but everything I picked up was all off of eBay. But um, I don't know what it was, but this week I had an awesome, like, I don't know what it was. <laughs> I just, I got really lucky on eBay. Um, got picked up books for great prices that uh, normally you don't get. But I mean, all these books I'm about to show you, um, you know, I didn't pay any more than 30 bucks. Like, all these books are, are under $30. So, and I got some big key issues that I got for under 30 bucks, which I'm, I'm super happy about. But um, before we even get to the haul, though, a uh, couple things um, that I'll, you know, I just want to bring up real quick. First thing is, um, you know, I don't know what is up with YouTube right now, but uh, I cannot reply back to anybody's comments um, on my videos. Um, I don't know why. Um, you know, I used to be able to, you know, because right now I do all my YouTubing on my phone, my Android. I don't have a computer or a laptop or a tablet or anything like that, unfortunately, at the moment. But, um, you know, I used to be able to, you know, going through the browser, uh, you know, and going to the YouTube site to go into the desktop version. You know, I used to be able to reply then. I mean, it was a little, kind of a pain in the ass, but, you know, I'm still able to reply now. I can't reply at all. Um, you know, the comments show up, but there's no, you know, no uh, reply button on any of the comments, so I can't reply at all. So, you know, I just wanted to throw that out there for you guys so you know what's up. Um, you know, you're not thinking like, you know, am I ignoring you or whatever. You know, I read all your guys' comments on my videos. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, thank you so much for commenting and watching my stuff. Um, you know, I really, really appreciate it. I'm grateful for, you know, all my subs and everything, but, um, and second is, uh, you know, I want to do some shout outs real quick, some newer YouTubers, uh, first one is, uh, SpideyFan78CT, uh, fairly new guy, um, got quite a bit of subs right now, and he just started, but, man, dude, this guy's hauls so far, he's just been, man, he's just been cranking them out, dude, uh, awesome books, uh, great videos, cool guy uh, I know he watches my stuff so um, if you haven't checked him out for some reason definitely go check out his uh, his content man he's got some good stuff um, definitely give him a sub if you haven't already another guy uh, Zion Uno 7 uh, another awesome dude uh, just started probably around the same time Spidey fan did um, great videos great books awesome hauls another cool guy um, definitely sub him as well and uh, I'm probably a little late on getting to this next guy, uh, Bing Crew 12,000. Um, he started around October-ish. Um, I think he's got quite a bit of subs now. But um, for some reason, if you're watching my video and you haven't seen this guy, definitely, definitely check this dude out. Uh, dude, this is that first vid alone where he's showing all his wall books. I was just like, holy crap, man. I mean, this guy's collection is awesome, dude. Um, so definitely check him out if you haven't for some reason. Uh, and give him a sub as well. And the last one, uh, I, if you guys watch my videos, um, you know, you've heard me talk about a buddy that I go to shops with and pick up books and, you know, Frankensons and stuff like that. Well, he finally decided to do his first video. So his first video is up now. And it actually, I think he has about almost 100 views now. Um, so people have already been finding him. I think, I know I've seen uh, Gene Paulus Peter comment on there. And uh, I think Spidey Fan did too. But, uh, you know, in real life, he's my friend. Uh, you know, we work together and uh, we collect together and stuff like that. Um, he's awesome, dude. Um, check him out. His uh, YouTube name is Lightning2288, my buddy Richard. Um, yeah, dude, that first video he put up was is awesome. Um, it's a little long. But, I mean, he goes through, you know, the books that he's picked up over, you know, the past couple weeks. And then uh, he shows some of, some, some <laughs> not everything, but some of his uh, X-Men key issues. And, you know, I'm not going to tell you guys what he shows. Just go over there and check him out. Um, awesome. Give him a sub. Um, like, if you like my content, you'll like his. Um, and, and in my opinion, he's got a better collection than I do. Um, he's got you know, a lot of the grails that I don't have, but I mean, yeah, go check him out, give him a sub. Um, it, he's gonna, he's gonna have more awesome videos to come. Um, 
yeah, so check them out for sure. So, anyways, um, oh, yeah, you know what, real quick. Also, um, I don't know if I can put up links to these guys' channels. Um, I'm going to try, but if I can't, uh, you know, I'll at least put their, their YouTube names uh, their channel names under in the description box. So, um, yeah, get that out of the way. All right. Anyways. Okay. So let's get into the haul. Um, first thing I picked up showcase number 94. Uh, this is the first appearance of the new doom patrol. Um, really undervalued, underrated, uh, bronze age key issue. I don't think a lot of people even know about it. Um, definitely worth a pickup. Um, just, I, I love the cover. The cover is really cool. Um, I'm pretty sure if you guys do want to pick it up, um, I'm pretty sure you can find it out in the wild for, for pretty cheap. Um, like I said, it's pretty underrated. Um, uh, but yeah, really cool book. Uh, nice little DC Bronze Age key issue to have. And then I picked up Avengers 263, uh, you know, minor key issue, uh, first appearance of X Factor. But you know what? I mean, major key, minor key, you don't matter. To me, a key is a key. Uh, you know, I collect any key issue. But, uh, you know, I didn't have it, and I figured why not get it, and got it for dirt cheap, um, really high grade. And I picked up Amazing Spider-Man number 265, um, first appearance of Silver Sable. Um, yeah, um, a book that, you know, I, I, most people have this book. Um, I've seen quite a people, uh, bit of people show it off, but, uh, you know, if you don't have it, definitely pick it up. Um, I have a feeling, you know, down the road, you know, uh, eventually this could potentially go up, um, maybe along the same lines as, uh, you know, 194, first black cat, um, especially if they do anything with silver sable, but, uh, yeah, definitely worth a pickup if you don't have it. Um, also happens to be a newsstand copy, which is a, is a plus and, um, yeah, had to pick it up because I didn't have it and another Spidey book. I picked up another key issue, Marvel Team Up 141, um, <laughs> the the other uh, first appearance of the black suit. Um, surprised how undervalued this is, really. Um, you know, I see a lot of people show this off, so I'm pretty sure most people have this. But I mean, yeah, it's a pretty undervalued book. Um, surprised it's not worth more, but. You know, if you don't have it, it's definitely a book worth having, worth picking up. Um, really cool cover. Um, oh, and it happens to be a new stand copy as well. So definitely had to pick this up. I got it for like seven bucks, something like that. Um, and some very fine, probably very fine condition. And then I picked up Logan's Run number six. Um, first solo Thanos story. Um, it's a book that you know, I never really planned on getting, um, just because everywhere I've seen it in shops or Frankenstein's or whatever, I mean, dude, they're asking like 50 bucks, 40 bucks for it. I'm just like, eh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I ain't paying that much for that, but I ended up by winning this on eBay for $6. Um, and it's a nice copy. I mean, I'd have to say very fine, maybe very fine minus a uh, little bit of issues on the corner down here, but really beautiful copy, six bucks, hell yeah, I'll pay that, um, 50, no, <laughs> but definitely glad to have that for that price, and I picked up Thor 337, uh, yeah, very happy to have this, love this cover, uh, first appearance of, uh, Beta Ray Bill, um, just a book, um, that, I don't know, I just never got around to picking up, um, I mean, I used to have this back in, you know, my old collection that I had before I sold it, but, um, I don't know, just never got around to picking it up, and it showed up in auction, it was cheap, and I threw a bid out, and I won it, so, um, pretty nice condition, um, I'd probably give it a very fine, I mean, it's not as bone white as I would like it to be, but it's, it's all good, it's no big deal, um, it's not really tanning or anything, it's just, the book looks like it, it, it was sitting in an old ass poly bag plastic for probably like years and years and years and years. That's, that's all. But, um, it's still a really nice copy, really sharp, very happy to have it. And then I picked up, um, Suicide Squad number 23. 
uh, first appearance of Oracle, Barbara Gordon, Bar ugh, sorry about that, Barbara Gordon as Oracle, um, yeah, this is, this is a really cool key issue, um, I don't really see people show this, actually, I don't think I've seen anybody show this, um, this is one of those books, kind of weird about this book, um, I've seen it go for as high as 50, and I've seen them under 10, so, uh, <laughs> I mean, you can potentially get this for under 10 bucks, um, it's definitely a Batman key issue worth having, um, I wouldn't pay 50 for it, or 40, but, I mean, I've seen them go as high as that, but, I mean, I'm pretty sure out in the wild, in a shop or something, you could probably find this for, you know, for a, for a, a pretty cheap and good price, but, um, I won this for 10 bucks, um, I had to jump on it, um, cause on eBay, uh, you see a lot of buy nows for like 30, between 30 and 50 bucks, and I'm just like, eh, I ain't paying that, but, uh, definitely happy to have this, this is really high grade, I would definitely give this a near mint plus, so definitely be on a lookout for that book, it's worth having, and speaking of Batman, here's another Batman key issue I picked up, um, Detective Comics number 471, uh, first modern age appearance of Dr. Hugo Strange. Um, in my opinion, really undervalued Bronze Age Batman key issue. Um, kind of along lines as a 474, the first dead shot. Um, I don't know. I, I definitely say you guys should like be on the hunt and look out for this if you can find it. Um, you see it says $26, $22 up here. I didn't pay that. Um, I won it for 16 um, really high grade. It says very fine, but it's actually, I don't know, I pulled it out and looked at it. It's, it's higher than that. It's like a very fine plus. I'd even go as far as to say very fine and near mint. Um, really beautiful book. Um, love the cover. Just what an awesome looking cover. Um, but yeah, definitely keep your guys, uh, you know, keep your eyes out for this book. Um, definitely worth a pick up if you can find it. And then I picked up Submariner number five, first appearance of Tiger Shark. Let me get the damn glare. Sorry about that. Uh, first appearance of Tiger Shark. Um, another book I, I won for really cheap. Uh, just threw a bit out there. I won it for ten bucks. I was like, if I win it, I win it. If I don't, whatever. Um, you know, I eventually would like to upgrade it. Um, just because if you could see right here, look at the spine. It's got some chipping about right here. Uh, other than that, I mean, that that's it. That's the only thing wrong with the book. Um, but for 10 bucks, I couldn't pass it up. Um, yeah, uh, I really love this cover. Really cool cover. Um, probably one of my favorite Submariner covers. That along with uh, I Love Number 2's cover, too. Uh, the one where he's fighting Triton. But yeah, 10 bucks. Got a good deal on that. And then uh, the next three books, here's the big books. Very excited to have. And guys, mind you, I paid under 30 for each of these. Um, got an amazing deal. First one, Marvel Super Heroes number 12. Very excited to have this. First appearance of Captain Marvel. Uh, got this for 26 bucks. I've seen this book go for a hell of a lot more in way worse condition. I mean, I'd probably give this a fine. I mean, it's chipped down here, and it's got, like, this little thing right here going on. Um, other than that beautiful beautiful looking book um 26 bucks uh, i was expecting to get outbid on it and i didn't uh, i just threw the bid out and i was the only one to bid and nobody else bid i don't know why um but i got lucky as hell um this is a book that you know i've been looking for um just when you do see it it's really expensive or it's either really expensive or it's really beat to hell um it's one or the other um but I mean, I'm happy with this condition, especially for the price I got it for. Very happy with this. Man, that's awesome. And from the same guy, I got it for the same price. I got this for 26 bucks as well. Uh, Marvel feature number one. Let me get, move it down a little bit. Let me get that glare off. Uh, first appearance of the Defenders. Uh, man, yeah, 26 bucks. I mean, it's not perfect. Um, it is creased right here, and it has a, 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 a like a crease right here. I mean, that's about it, really. Um, everything else is really nice on this book. 
I mean, real beautiful except for the, the two creases on the corner. Um, I'd probably still give it about a fine um, just because everything else on it is really great. I mean, deep, deep color. Um, really nice spine, actually, to, you know. Um, but, yeah, just those creases. I mean, that's about it. Um, man, this is another one of those books where I've been meaning to pick this up for a while. And, like, for example, um, Frankenstein's. Uh, one of the dealers there, he's got he's got a copy, uh, probably in very fine shape, but he's asking for 150 bucks. I'm just like, dude, there's no way in hell I'm gonna pay 150 bucks for it. But I mean, for 26 bucks for a fine copy, I'm happy with this. I mean, if anything, I can always upgrade later. I I know I I could get a lot more for this book than what I paid for. Um, so I'm really stoked to have this book finally. And the last book, oh my god, guys, I <laughs> I don't know how I got this book for so cheap. Um, I paid $23 for this. Strange Tales, $135. Man, I got a super deal on this. Oh, sorry about that. Um, man, I got a super deal on this book. Uh, everybody knows this first appearance of uh, S.H.I.E.L.D., Hydra, and Nick Fury as an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., Oh, man, this is... Oh, I'm so happy to have this book. I mean, it's not perfect. Because you can see there's some, you know, stress marks on the spine. Um, there's some wear going on right here, but... Oh, man, dude. I, I mean, I don't really know what to grade this as. I mean, it's a beautiful book. It's got issues. I don't know if I could give it a fine, but it's better than a VG. Maybe a VG fine. Yeah, uh, yeah I'd say maybe a 5.0. Five five tops around in that area, um, but man, for twenty three dollars, I know this book in any grade goes for quite a bit. I mean, I just man, I feel like I stole this book really. To be honest, <laughs> man, I'm so happy to have this. This is one of those books I've been watching for at least a year now, man, and it just goes for so much. And man, I mean, this thing is beautiful. I'm so glad I got this. And twenty three dollars. That oh man, so happy about that. Um, so yeah, I get that's gonna do it, guys, for the haul. Um, very excited to have these books. I got major deals on these. Um, so I should be back next week with another haul. Um, got a bunch more books coming in. Some really good ones. Some really nice silver age key issues that are coming in. Um, so. I should have that up next week, and like I said, definitely check out uh, Spidey Fan 78 CT, Zion Uno 7, uh, Vin Crew 12,000, and my my boy, my buddy uh, Lightning 2288. Check them out, give them a sub. Um, I'll have their either link or at least their YouTube name or channel name down in the description. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Leave comments or whatever. Um, always watching everybody else's videos too. So. Um, I see, I'll guess I'll see you guys next week. All right. Later.